We are Biscuiteers, the original hand ice biscuit company. Each year we ice around 3 million biscuits by hand and we're sharing some of our tips and tricks to help you become a master icer. Today we'll be showing you the difference between the types of icing we use at the Ministry of Biscuits, one of the most important things to learn when icing biscuits. At Biscuiteers we use two types of icing, flood icing and line icing. They both have a very different role when icing biscuits, which we'll explain before showing you the differences. Line icing is an icing of a thicker consistency, which should be similar to toothpaste. As you can see, when you mix the line icing together, it should have stiff peaks, holding its form quite well and not sinking back into the rest of the icing. Flood icing has a thinner consistency than line icing. We say that flood icing should have a five second consistency meaning that when you dribble it back into the bowl, it should sink into the rest of the icing within five seconds. Unlike the line icing, no stiff peaks remain. We use line icing for all outlines on our hand ice biscuits. It acts as a barrier to keep flood icing contained in a single area, so it is important to make sure there are no gaps in the line icing when you are icing a biscuit. We always use piping bags to apply line icing to biscuits. The best thing about using piping bags is that you can cut the tip of the piping bag as thick or as thin as you like so that you can control the width of the line icing. Line icing can also be used to fill in small areas of biscuit too, if you don't have flood icing or you just want to create a different texture. Flood icing is used to fill in any shapes that have been outlined using line icing. The line icing acts as a barrier to prevent flood icing from dripping over the edge of the biscuit or into another area of the biscuit. We tend to apply flood icing to biscuits using bottles, but you can also use piping bags if needed. We just find that the bottles are easier to control and they are reusable too. One of our top tips for applying flood icing is to take a toothpick and pop any air bubbles that you see. Air bubbles will take approximately 30 seconds to rise to the surface of the icing when applied. The icing might look a bit darker where there is a bubble, so by popping any air bubbles you see, you'll create a smoother and more consistent finish to your biscuit. After flood icing has been applied, we always put the biscuit into an oven at a low temperature, around 50 degrees Celsius for up to 30 minutes. This allows the flood icing to dry out so that the line icing and decorations can be added on top. Once the flood icing has dried, you can use line icing to add finer details including decorations and text onto the biscuits at the end of the icing process. We will often go over the original line icing with more line icing to create a nice clean finish. When outlining shapes with line icing, we tend to use a thicker line and when adding details such as writing or decorations, we use thinner lines. This will give the biscuit a neater finish. Now you know all about the different types of icing we use, why not make them yourself? Follow our guides on how to make the perfect flood and line icing and then try icing your own biscuits. Time to get creative! <laughs>